right, here's our video number two on this seven and a half ton uh, cold shot chiller as we're approaching the set point. We just got to 28, um, but it'll probably overshoot it a degree or two because of the differential before the compressor, which is still running, um, sets down. Uh, the pump, of course, the glycol pump always runs. Getting back to the bypass and the flow, another way of saying it, you can just say we, we hit 27 so the, the compressor shut off. Uh, another way of describing it is on the output of the pump here where we, where we tee off, um, the upper section we could consider the chiller loop, okay, because that's the flow that's coming from the tank then going back into the evaporator of the chiller which is submerged in the tank and that's what's given us the, the cooling. You know, if this was shut, if this was shut off 100%, there'd be actually no cooling. If this was shut off 100%, all that we would be doing is we'd be drawing from the tank, going 100% out to process, then discharging back to the tank. So this arrangement here, where it splits here, and we have this bypass valve, that's basically needed to to almost do the same as if we had a two pump system, where we have a chiller loop for part of the flow and then a process loop going out to the process. Um, but we know, you'll, but what's nice is with the, this arrangement here, is that red light will come on if there is a flow fault error due to the flow switch, or if there's a uh, lower high pressure error also due to refrigerant pressure. Um, and you can see we have, there's some, you know, it's a small loop right now, we don't have a process connected to it. You get some residual cooling, it's down to like 24 right now. But um, this unit's ready to go, we'll probably run and test it for another several days. In this case here, the end user is not in a hyper rush for it. Um, but we'll put all the covers on, crate it nicely like we always do. And send, uh, in this case here, send it to its uh, new home or brewery in uh, Pennsylvania. So thanks for watching, this is Scott from KIG. Our website is KIGSales.com. Thank you.